for half the movie I was covered in blood. You, you wouldn't believe the process it took to get it all off every night. I mean, I couldn't go back to the hotel looking the way I looked in the movie. I mean, you, 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 I mean are you kidding me? I mean, look at me wrong. <laughs> We actually approached Nick to play the, the part that Linus plays, and, and Nick said, well, no, I want to play Red Miller, and I, we had had our hearts set on him playing the villain. So at first, we, were, we, you know, we kind of backed off and said, no, sorry, you know, we can only see you as the villain. And then a few weeks later, I woke up, and I was like, uh, what the hell's wrong with us? Nick Cage would be amazing as Red Miller, and so we went back to him, and luckily he was still interested. I, didn't, I, didn't, I couldn't get my head around playing the, the cult aspect of the character, and... I just never had any acolytes, and I never had any of that. I never was interested in having people worship me. I just wanted to be on my own and going through my own pathos or inward uh, adventures. I, and that's why I felt I would be more effective in the red role. But, you know, it's, it's understandable, perhaps, that, that Panos didn't see me right away as red because I was doing Army of One in Vancouver. And I had like this long gray hair and this long gray beard, and I showed up looking like you know Father Time or you know Father Saturn or Kronos or whomever. And he was saying this is a movie about age versus youth. Uh, he didn't see me as red. I enjoyed our conversation, and I could tell right away that he had a um, his own life experience and memories and impressionistic and abstract. And he talked about being a, a young boy and seeing toys melting, and that landed with me. And I knew, having seen Beyond the Black Rainbow, that this was gonna be a special movie, <clears throat> an artistic movie, uh, a unique world that I wanted to walk around in, but I, I just couldn't see myself playing that part. And so I, I left a little sad, but, but then when he called a couple months later, I was like, yeah, let's do this. And as he said, I'm glad it worked out that way because Linus is really, tragic and compelling in the movie. I haven't seen it, but just doing the, the work together, I knew what he was, what we were getting up to together, and it was, you know, I thought it was effective. Do you have a favorite Nicolas Cage movie? Yes, it's Vampire's Kiss. Yeah, that's my favorite Nick performance. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've got too many. I'm, I'm a big, big fan, but do you know what? I, I just watched Snake Eyes again recently, and I, and I love the opening sequence oh, of wow, that movie. Yeah. It's phenomenal. Is that really Thank all you. one take, the first 20 Well, minutes? so what happened was, I think Brian was trying to get to like a touch of evil, well sort of yeah. sense of one shot. But the truth is we were, still, we were still using cans of film and every can was five, five minutes. So we, we, would, we would rehearse it and rehearse it and rehearse it all day. And by the end of the day, we would shoot the, the can and then, but if you made one mistake, you had to go all the way back to the beginning and reshoot the whole thing. And, but what he would use is swish pans to get to the next can so he could cut a 15 minute, minute sequence together. So it's genuinely five minutes in three parts, right. five, five, and five of un, un, uh, uncut, you know, just one shot. I love oneers. I just love them. Panos does them, uh, Herzog does them. They're not only great for the schedule because it speeds things up if you've got people that know where to hit their marks and land properly, but it breathes, you know. Um, there's too much chop sake going on sometimes, and I, I like it sometimes when the, the frame feels like a play, and the actors come in and out and replace one another, and it becomes a dance, and there's an air to that that um, I think is, is very poignant for, for cinema, for filmmaking. <laughs>